Hello everyone, this week's parasha is parasha Toldot, and there is so much to discuss in this parasha, but a lot of this we've done in previous years. This year I want to focus on the first pasuk of the parasha that says, Ele Toldot Yitzchak ben Avraham, Avraham olidat Yitzchak. This is the lineage of Yitzchak, the son of Avraham. Avraham gave birth to Yitzchak. So why repeat it twice in the same pasuk? If something so clear and obvious, Yitzchak is the son of Avram, Avram is the father of Yitzchak, we don't need to repeat it twice. And we also know from previous places or from the rest of our learning in the Torah, the Torah is very careful not to repeat itself, not to waste our time, not to waste ink, not to, as much as it possibly could. And yet over here, it says it twice in the same pasuk, basically the same words, kind of strange. So... The Torah tells us that Rashi teaches us something very important over here and says, this is because the jokers of that generation, these comedians, they were going around spewing lies and saying, Sarah got pregnant from Avimelech when she was held in captivity by Avimelech. That is when she got pregnant. The Midrash says, so to disqualify all of them, Hashem made it that Yitzchak looks just like Avraham so that people wouldn't be able to say it. But who cares? He looks like Avraham. We trust Avraham and Sarah. Who cares about a bunch of jokers making jokes, spreading lies? Well, why, why should we concern ourselves with this? Why does Rashi feel the need to respond to this? Why does the Midrash feel the need to respond to it? Why does Hashem feel the need, according to the Midrash, to make this miracle that he will look exactly like Abraham, to make it indisputable? So the first thing is, we are very, very careful about what, how we use our sense of humor. Comedy is good. Laughing is important. Being happy is really, really important. But making fun of important things, that is really problematic. You can get up and give the best speech in the world and inspire everyone around you. And then one person will get up, make a single joke, and disqualify everything you just said. No one cares what you said anymore. Now it's just all a joke. Now it's funny. And that's it. You've, it it's all gone. All of that effort for nothing. Chazal teach us, and they say, you are not allowed to sit in a moshav litzim. You are not allowed to sit in a company of these types of clowns. People who are making fun of serious things. These people that are spreading lies. These people who are, who are making fun of serious things. They are doing damage to society. How much damage? Vladimir La La Lenin said, A lie told often enough becomes the truth. With this, they managed to create the Soviet Union. They managed to create communism. They managed to create an unimaginable, horrible kind of society. Because lies are told, one after the next. And in the beginning, no one believed these lies. But you tell them enough times, and you can destroy the world. The end of the Soviet Union, something that is regarded as one of the key things that took it down, spoken about by Jordan Peterson, is a book called The Gulag Archipelago by, by Solzhenitsyn, who writes a book where he starts telling the truth and starts introspecting and saying, how have we treated things? Are we telling the truth or not? We've seen this, we know this to be true in our personal lives, how dangerous the media can be and social media Things that are done professionally and things that are done amateurly. Both of them, when spreading lies, can destroy a narrative, can create an evil narrative. We have seen this in this current war. Then in the beginning of the war, we're fighting and we have support of the world. And Hamas accidentally bombed its own hospital and so told BBC that it was us. No one's checking credibility. No one's checking anything. And within five seconds, the world is attacking and condemning Israel on something that Hamas did to its own people. But it's very, very easy to spread lies. Lies spread very fast. Be very, very careful. 
ושפתיך מדבר מרמה. Be careful what you say. Protect your mouth. If you have nothing good to say, if you don't have the truth, don't speak lies. Shabbat Shalom.